My sincerest apologies, ladies and gentlemen. It is unfortunately true that my sister's physical constitution is not at all comparable to her mental one. So, in the meantime, I shall tell you of our shared love of the arts. The ability and desire to paint runs deep in the veins of the Lucas family. And as staunch Quakers, the desire for what some may regard as the trivial has not always been easy to reconcile with our faith. It is one thing to admire the beauty of the creative arts and another thing entirely to encompass it as a profession. I have witnessed at first hand the struggle our father had with his conscience. He was so desperate to plough himself full time into his painting, but his faith and his family obligations saw him relinquish his desire and pursue it as a pastime only. In a way, it was beholding our father's unhappy dilemma, which pushed the two of us away from the religious society of friends. We have not abandoned our inherited faith entirely, but we have loosened and in some cases thrown off the restrictive bonds that suppressed our natural instincts. One of the many reasons for living in Rome was to improve our limited painting and sketching skills. We do this by taking lessons with renowned art teachers. Giuseppe Reggio, for one, a wonderful character, whose mission, he tells us, is to portray the story of the humble inhabitants of the Roman Campania in communion with their herds of sheep and cows, depicting uncompromising views of the town, devastated by floods and desolate with fever. In fact, there it is again, you see, as Tilly alluded to earlier. A wretched fascination with the unavoidable darkness of existence. Death, tragedy. An artist should be encouraged, no, persuaded to use their talent to reproduce the beauty of being alive on their canvas, rather than representing the horrors. Yet, that would only hide away the truth, I fear, would it not? It would only make us blind to what must be improved. Perhaps I do the artists an injustice. I once met an Italian atheist and upon asking him why it was that the Romans seemed to savour every moment of the day, he replied rather disparagingly, they are simple, he said, but in that simplicity they know that life is short and that you are a long time dead. <laughs>